welcome to Vlogmas! Okay guys, welcome to Vlogmas. Um, today is the day I'm trying to put this camera properly. I think here it's okay. Okay, so guys, today is the day for my driving practical. I was up quite early. Um, I've already prepared what they'll eat for lunch today. Prepared the kids for school. I'm just waiting now for my nanny because we cannot leave Myra alone. So yeah, when she comes, it's already seven. When she comes, we're just going to head out immediately. I'm scared that I'll not be on time because they told me that we have to be there by eight. So hopefully, we're going to I'm going to get there at one time. And I don't even know the place. I think my husband knows. They said start come right. So that is where I'm going to be going to. I think he wants to just pack out of the house so that when the lady comes, we're just going to follow her go out at once. So yeah guys, if you want to see how everything goes, you just keep watching because um the other video we're asked not to bring our phones, but this one actually they told us that it's okay we could bring our phones. So I'm hoping to vlog my experience. So if you want to see how that goes, follow me guys. Guys, can you believe that Kenna forgot to to do some little spray spray all over my body? So I'm like, eh? I'm going to smell real bad. So I want to just go back inside and spray. And my nanny is not still here. Oh, guys, this is so annoying. If I go late today, I'll be so mad. Like this lady is never on time. Even when you tell her, I actually told her that she should be on time because I am writing my exams, but she's not yet here. This is already getting to 10 past seven. I'm so nervous. So after waiting we finally went and it was time to practice so everything takes place in this big field like there are over a hundred cars from different driving schools guys like the field is so big and everybody's doing that driving exercise there so when I came guys this man wearing this green we call him the jurist he asked me to hold that umbrella and cover him so yeah that was the first part and this first part was to drive in front and reverse the car okay after this part the next thing that is normally supposed to happen is that you go now and take the second part of the exam which is parallel parking after that you go for your question and answers and this is just me trying to give you a view like this are my classmates we're all together like 12 or 13 of us but guys if you look behind like those people behind me that's from one school some schools had like 30 and above people Jesus. this is the reality of driving in Cameroon my god see how sweaty and tired I am the time is 10 minutes to 12 and I am still here I just finished the second part of the test I'm going to you guys know me I'll give you hard gist when I get Home. 
<laughs> guys don't mind if i'm being weird i'm just kind of shy vlogging that's the field where we're working the red this red car is a car i just did a parking with the car and <laughs> people clap for me which means i did a good job okay guys i just thought i should check in on you let me oh see me sweating let me go back and continue practice we just heard a sound and a car just went fast straight into the wall guys you can see that's the car there that red car it hit the wall and bust that hole like it was so scary i was shaking guys it was so scary like apparently this guy that was driving the car was trying to do his drive ahead and reverse and he mistakenly um, smashed the accelerator instead of the brakes causing this accident it was so scary i was shaking till i left that place i was just feeling so uncomfortable thank god that i had finished driving before it happened hey guys oh, i'm back from my driving class i am so tired like i'm so tired i've been standing since 8 a.m and we finally i finally just got home and now it's 2 30 i've taken i've tried to ref um, freshen up and yeah guys i'm just here i've had a scary day guys i've had a scary day like before this you would have seen the clip of this guy who ran straight into the wall guys i got so scared like it's things like this that will make you to start being scared to even drive what did he do he just made a mistake and instead of smashing the brakes he went and smashed the accelerator oh my god guys it was scary we just heard a funny sound and boom the car was going like crazy speed i thought it was going to burst the wall and even pass see that car in front was shattered the the um, airbags came out the the driving wheel came off and the guy just had like a, a really bad sprain on his leg so i'm just like oh my god and people there were like oh the female part the female part they're going to spoil the name of the school but i'm like okay i was about understanding you know, but when i was speaking with people there you know they were like that particular driving school is like that's what they do all the time so i was like so why then don't we why then do we not have to spoil the name of the driving school like why guys the name of that driving school is auto eco european please <laughs> it means there's something wrong because all, all driving schools were coming with one car each but that particular school it has close to like 100 students and they came with like three cars so i'm like if i come with three cars it means i already know they were showing me places on the wall and they're like this is the way that particular driving school every year they come the most some they must hit something so i'm like it means there's a problem why are we trying to cover them it means there's a problem i was just like oh my god if somebody was standing where that guy that car was passing the person would die immediately because the speed at which that car was going guys the speed at which that car was going <laughs> oh guys it got me shaking i can't even lie i was really really shaking i was just like am i even ready to drive again i, I just got so scared luckily that we had already done everything that we had to do with driving inside the car huh <sighs> 
enough about that so let me explain how things went okay so when we got there i normally there's a list you go you copy your name from the list your number you go and take your new card that you're going to use to write and then you wait for your teacher so we went that when i finished doing everything i went and waited for my teacher in the car and we sat in the car for from eight o'clock till like i think 10 30 like 10 30 like that we waited in the car till 10 30 and then after 10 yeah we waited in the car till 10 30 and then um we had to go now and start the practicals so the practicals were um in three parts the first part is moving the car in front and reversing the car the second part is parking parallel parking and the third part is question and answer so guys i was very lucky the first part i was so nervous i was like oh my god but i never know what the first part was honestly i did not even know so going there i was just nervous and i'm like oh my god how am i supposed to do this <laughs> if you were it was even easy so when i got there guys i saw a lady standing and covering a man with her umbrella so when that man when that lady put down the umbrella the man just said madam come and cover me that when i say the man i mean like the jurist that's like the instructor the person that the examinator so he as he just said that i just went i carried his umbrella and i stood there so he was calling everybody go and drive in front and reverse go and drive in front and reverse he just turned and he was seeing my reaction when people were driving so he turned to ask me are you nervous i said yes i'm a little nervous he just said what's your name i told him kenna he removed my paper gave me my six or six <laughs> and just kept back the paper i was like oh my god see guys that was it for that part oh, that was it i seen that was it <laughs> after that we left now went to the river um the, the parallel parking oh guys i was so nervous like i was so nervous when they called my name guys would you believe if i tell you that i was one of the best in the parking that particular thing always just worries my brain but i did so well i was so happy and then it was after i did that parallel parking that that guy hit the car so we had to spend now some extra time before everybody settled down and the whole thing continued so we went now to the third place and this one was a woman so she was asking questions she just entered into the car and she'll just look at something in the car and ask you a question normally this part is okay so the part for parallel parking is on six i had six there too so um the last part now is on eight so because the entire exam is on 20 so when um i entered when it was my turn i entered inside our teacher had already told us like if this woman this woman she doesn't know french english <laughs> so if she asks you people a question what you just have to tell her is i don't understand what you're saying as in just speaking english like, i don't understand what you're saying she'll either let, let you go or she'll ask you any question now anything that you answer she will not know whether it's right or it's wrong so she said something and i heard she asked me um now what uh what are you supposed to click on the car when there's danger i know the answer guys i told her i don't understand what you're saying <laughs> oh my god so she went ahead i was like tell me bricks i was like tell you bricks what does that mean what is tell you bricks <laughs> i'll ask her i should tell you about the bricks she said yes i just told her okay the bricks is that thing that is there to stop you from hitting an obstacle to stop you when you are startled to stop you i just said something there and she was like okay good Took my paper gave my mark i did not see the mark of this one gave my mark and she was like okay your question and answer section is over so yeah guys that was it that was it but there's one thing that happened that i did not like so like cameroon in fact guys i'm going to talk about this particular part some other time let me not come and say something now and then my license might not come out or pe make people angry but you guys know that i i spill it so i'm going to be very honest about this exam later for now let's just leave it here so yeah guys i have been so busy this past week i've been so busy um a lot of people feel like i've ignored them a lot of people feel like i've not been responding to their messages guys it's just because i've had a lot going on i've been really stressed this exam and so many other things that have been jumbled jumbled up in my head but thank god 
thank God things are getting better I've written this exam first of all that's good news second of all I'm not um my stress is reducing my appetite is coming back and things are just getting better so for all those who have reached out to me and they are worried I'm doing okay guys I'm doing fine um it's just stress everything everything like this end of year has been really hard for me everything has just been like pop 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 at me but i'm strong i'll be handling it well so yes guys um i think this is the end of this video what do you guys think about this whole driving thing in cameroon oh guys it was so scary oh my god it was so scary uh, anyway thank you guys for watching and oh before i forget my exam result my results for this practical will be coming out in two weeks so if i pass they're going to give me the receipt at once and i can start driving and after that i'll get my driver's license so thank you guys for watching and i am going to see you on the next one love you bye Mwah.